55% of ambitious people will ignore in 2020 that a successful life involves presence and appreciation. Hi, this is David Brower, The Sensorial Guy. Do you realize that blind ambition is keeping people from seeing the globality and the wholeness of their life? The different aspects that keep them healthy, wealthy, and wise. They keep them in connection with the most meaningful relationships in their life. And when they neglect these, and they're not paying enough attention to them, they're not bringing enough awareness to them, as well as to themselves, the damage can be irreparable. And often it's very subtle. You don't really see it coming. You think you're paying attention, but you're not really present. You're not appreciating really what's going on. <laughs> okay, I love playing around and wearing things on my face. And it all starts and ends with appreciation for yourself, compassion for yourself. We're all gonna make mistakes. I've made many in my life. In my earlier years, I didn't appreciate enough what I had, who I was, and compared too much for others. And I had so many problems because of that. As surely you appreciate, what you appreciate, appreciates. And don't we appreciate way more the people and the things that we love? So if you want different aspects of your life to get better, appreciate them more. If you appreciate your money, it appreciates. If you learn about it, you study about how to make it grow. You save it, you invest it, you don't waste it on the things you don't love. Because otherwise, if you don't love your money, if you don't love money, it's gonna leave you. Food and our connection to it and the love that you can transmit in the creating of it, in the sourcing of it, in the preparing of it, and in the delivery of it to others, the serving of it to others in service. Transmit your love. So if you love it, it's gonna be amazing. I have something special to show you. Have you ever heard of a convection vapor oven? This is my convection vapor oven. Look how clean it is. Some people polish their chrome motorcycles or their cars. I polish my oven. That's the new masculinity. <laughs> this device actually creates vapor and is in an oven. And you can actually steam vegetables, cook cakes, cook any kinds of meat, and it keeps the nutrients and the taste and the color intact. I love this thing. It's over 12 years old. I use it all the time. Look how clean that is. That, that is love. And I love working my body, either working out or dancing. I love moving my body, feeling my body, keeping my body in great shape, powerful shape, so that I can release all the pharmacy inside me to give me the strength and endurance to get through my days, to give the energy I wanna to give to the world. And I need to love my body to be able to do it. Oh, that's my big sister. Yeah, are we cute? I love my family. And so I spend quality time with them, being present and appreciating them. I learn about them, I listen to them. I'm very attentive to them. <laughs> I just love playfulness and serendipity and artistic expression and culture. I love it. And so I invest and take time to explore that and experience that and share that with others. I create the time for that. So love what you will love. That is your choice. But just don't get so caught up that you don't see all the aspects of your life and something, something happens you don't want to happen. This is my world famous homemade kimchi. Secret recipe. <laughs> Maybe I'll give it to you one day. Enjoy, bon appétit, and keep loving life with presence and appreciation. If you love this video and you are present and full of appreciation, <laughs> if you would like it, comment on it and share it with somebody who could maybe receive this message today, I'd really appreciate it. And if not, maybe I could pay you. <laughs> Lots of love from Paris. This is the sensorial guy, David Brower. <laughs>